Hey, we've gotten some questions about how we created the repeating text design in our recent IG video. So I'm going to do a quick tutorial while I'm out here on my patio working today. Hopefully you find it helpful and um, it's pretty simple. So check it out. I hope you like the video. If you do, just click the subscribe button and tell your friends about it. Okay, so here is some well here are some designs uh, for inspiration this is where um, I got the inspiration to make the manifest design so you see the repeating text is trending right now these are the different some just a few different ways or different designs so I'm gonna start in Canva create a design and then I'm going to do the custom size 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels that is just the standard canvas that I like to work in if I'm designing just like a logo or something simple um, sometimes I work on like a rectangle canvas but the square one is my standard go-to so the first thing I'm going to do is um, just add a text box you can just hit the T key on your keyboard that's a shortcut and then type in the text i'm sorry the word that you want to use for your design i'm going to use the word gratitude then you're going to resize it to the size that you want just going to do just a size like that maybe 250 and then change it to a um print font. I'm going to use this Anton font and then change it to all caps. So let me do that again to show you. I'm going to select the box, the text box, go down to the font um, list right here. And it's in my recently used, so it's up here, but you can type it in. It's Anton, A-N-T-O-N. And then to change all of my letters to uppercase letters, I go to the more um, symbol right here and click on this lowercase and uppercase A. And it'll change the whole word or the whole text box. And then after that, let me just make it a little bigger. Um, you can make it bigger by dragging these white dots or you can do it up here. And then I'm going to hold down Control D to duplicate this because I need to bring it down to a new page so that I can save this image. So the the question is, how do I? Because in my the video, the word the text is cropped. So the only way around this is to save it as an image. So what I'm going to do is make the word really big. I'm going to go to effects. Sorry about that. I'm going to go to effects and hollow it out. And then I'll keep it at, at black right now just for the sake of time. But you can change the color to any color that you want. And then I'm going to duplicate this page by clicking this right here. And then change the color to, uh, I guess I'll do, I'll do red. So now I have, you can see, I have my main page that I'm going to be working on. And the second page is the black outline. The third one is the red outline. So what I'm going to do is click on download. Make sure ping is selected. Click on transparent background. And on this drop down um, right here for the pages, I'm only going to download pages two and page, page two and page three done download now because the file is so big it's going to download as a compressed file so you just go to your um, downloads and extract the files and then you'll be able to upload it to canva so now I don't need this anymore I'm going to delete this delete this so now I'm left with just my main page. Go to uploads, upload media, 
go look for the file. They're right here, so I'm gonna up upload both. Um, and the reason why you have to do this is because in Canva, you can only crop images and elements, not the text box. So that's why we saved it as an image and now we're uploading it. Okay, so now that we have it downloaded, um, I'm sorry, downloaded and then uploaded onto Canva, I'm going to go ahead and insert the text, I'm sorry, now the image. And once you insert it, you see that it has these um, little markers right here where you can drag the box. You don't have that with the text box. See, let me show you. This is a regular text box. They don't have it here. But with images, you do because this will allow you to crop. You could either crop it using these markers to drag or you can select crop and crop it that way. I just use the little markers since it's right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in just to see the details because I like it to align. So I'm gonna try my best to align, to resize this, to align it with the original text box. Just try to do as close as possible might have to do a little bit of you know just stretching and maneuvering once I'm good with that I'm going to control D it to duplicate that bring it down here and then I'm going to insert the other one and do the same so you see how it's like right on the other things just make sure you drag it out the way and then resize it okay so that's that i want to align it first before i start um cropping it duplicate so make sure you select what you want to duplicate so i'm going to select that duplicate this bring it down here and then here's the fun part you can let me move this over a little you can just eyeball the center or i mean just however you want to do it so i'm gonna drag that so bring it down and if you want so I did it um, the other way where I duplicated it before I crop if you want you can crop it and then duplicate it which I guess defeats the purpose but anyways you could do it either way um, Duplicate this, bring it down. So you can really resize it however you want, but just make sure that um, it is even with each other. So like once you, when you're dragging it, you'll see, um, I'm pointing to the screen like you can see it, but you can see that little box with the uh, width and height pop up. So I'm going to do the height at one, uh, let's do 200. It's really, I wish, yeah, 200. So I'm gonna make sure all of them are at 200. Okay, so once you have gone through to make sure they are all um, aligned and the right size, and you're happy with it, what I like to do is just select all and group them so that if I need to resize it, the whole thing will move. All right, so I'll show you guys some other variations of this 
um, feature or of this this tutorial on how to crop your text. Hopefully you guys like it and found it helpful.